Well, Keisha, we talk now about some basketball. Congratulations to Rondé Hollis Jefferson. His alma mater, the Chester Community Charter School, named its gym after Rondé Hollis Jefferson. So that's some good news for the Nets. And we talk about the Nets. What can they do to upgrade a roster that has really struggled over the course of the last couple seasons? Well, I'd like to extend my congratulations to Rondé Hollis Jefferson. That's quite an honor. And in terms of building the Nets roster, I think they're going to need some scoring. They did trade Bo Boyan Bogdanovich. Booyah, as they used to call him. Um, so I think they need to replace some of that scoring. And, I mean, I really like what they have so far. It's just a matter of fine-tuning it because there were little periods of time, flashes of, of I don't know, brilliance or um, flashes of potential that if with another season under the belt with uh, Coach Kenny Atkinson and really tighten up on a defense because I think the defense is really where they struggled a lot. They do have some scorers. And you've got some, you got Trevor Booker, Robin Lopez, is, I mean, sorry, Brooke Lopez is coming back. So um, I think that they need some shooting. I hear word on the street is that the Knicks and the Nets have their eye on J.J. Redick. And you know why that is of interest to me. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, he would be a great, I mean, great addition. He can shoot lights out of the, of the gym. Uh, the, the, net, the Nets also have interest in a foreign player by the name of Milos Teodosi. So we'll see um, if he comes over. And in terms of the Nets, you know, I've, I've heard that Justin Holiday is a name that's been floated around. I think it comes down to this guy, Jeremy Lin. Look, if he's healthy and he can give them some minutes and play next season, there's no question that this team will drastically improve. And I'll end with this. Jeremy Lin has said that some of his former teammates... Four or five former teammates have actually reached out to him and talked about an interest in playing for Brooklyn. So hopefully Ooh. there will be a sense of optimism for the Nets fans as they head into this offseason. Well, you can only find out what happens as we get towards the, the end of this regular, uh, well, the NBA Finals, which are just right ar around the corner. Yeah, he's played with some really uh, great players. So ooh, let's see.